That looks like a really safe window. It does. Good. This box has so many colors. Well, must have been an artist living in here. What's an artist? It's like a person who colors a lot, draws, does pictures. You mean like tin? Yeah, like tin. Huh. I like to do pictures too. Oh, shit. I, I didn't know Marlon set you up in this room. I just wanted to grab something from the closet. Where the hell is it? Oh. What? That's what I was looking for. It belonged to Sophie. Uh, Ten sister. He was asking for more art supplies and stuff, so I was going to. Oh, sorry. We didn't know. No, no. It's it's fine. Don't don't worry about it. Honestly, it's just been sitting here for the past year and no one's touched it. If AJ wants to play with it, it's it's fine. It's all right. She says you can keep it. Okay. Huh. I see you're, um, settling in. Yeah, is that okay? Sure. I guess. I always liked this room. Sophie had, like, paintings and shit on the walls. Lots of color. And Minerva. She was really musical. Not like Lewis, though. She had actual talent. <laughs> she had the most amazing voice. Real bluesy. Marlon always joked that he would scavenge a guitar and the two of them would tour the country. That was a long time ago. After they... Afterwards, Brody and Ten took down all the paintings and that was the end of it. I shouldn't have even brought it up. It's not a good memory. Guess I just lost my train of thought. No, oh, they sound like they were great friends. Yeah, Sophie was a good friend. And Minnie, uh, we were close. Me and her. What exactly happened to them? Sophie and Minerva. They went scavenging with Marlon and Brody out past the safe zone. Didn't make it back. It happens. Honestly, I just miss having someone around to talk to. There's just so many dudes. This place can get a little too bro town for my liking sometimes. And I'm not exactly like a people person, you know? I know I sometimes have a habit, have a habit of being a little bit too harsh. You come off all right. I thought you were pretty cool. Um, thanks, I guess. You were pretty cool too, out there against those walkers. Hey, Clem, I'm an artist now. Not bad, kiddo. I should be getting back. Enjoy the art supplies, little man. See ya. Yeah, see ya. Okay, Alvin Jr., time for bed. Okay, here. For me? For the wall, to make our home look nice. That's a good idea, AJ. How about here? Uh, AJ? Hey there, what are you doing? This is where I'm gonna sleep. <laughs> what? No, it's not. It's safe under here. No one can get me. 
Come on, AJ. The bed is way better. Oh, man. This bed is so comfy. What about the door? What if someone comes in? What if they try to hurt us? What if they steal our stuff? Nobody's gonna come in. Trust me. That girl just came in. If I stay here, no one can find me. And I can keep guard and watch over you. I can protect us. <sighs> hey, what's gotten into you? Please, Clem. It's not so bad down here. AJ, listen to me. It's gonna be okay. Please just give the bed a chance. It's soft and warm. I think you'll really like it. <sighs> this bed is really soft. Told you so. It's really, really soft. Good night, AJ. Clem? Hmm? This place is nice. I'm glad we found it. Me too. He's gonna let us stay, right? I guess we're gonna find out. Let's find his office. I know where it is. I'll show you. Up here! Come on, Clem, this way. Hey, AJ, wait up. It's in here. Hi. Hey, Tennessee. What are you guys doing? I was looking for more pencils, but I wasn't able to find any. Who are these guys? They're firefighters. That one's a policeman. She's gonna save the day. But what are they? They... These were the people who protected us. Where are they? I've never seen one before. They're still out there. Someday, maybe you'll meet one. That would be cool. Super cool. Now, give it to me and... No, he's mine now. Hey, give it back. No. You don't even know what they are. Okay, okay. That's enough, you two. It's not yours anymore. It's mine. No, it's not. Oh, fine. Thanks. Do you know where Marlon is? I don't know. He should be around. I can go find him. That'd be nice. Thanks, Ten. Look. Hey, what'd you find? It's a picture of Marlon and Lewis. They're so little. Wow, they've known each other a long time, huh? Marlon? Stay back. Hey, hey, it's okay, dude. Shh. Uh, hey, you said dogs brought back bad memories. I'm sorry. I didn't realize you were so scared of them. But I swear, Rosie's not as frightening as she seems. <laughs> Sit, girl. See? She's harmless. She just needs to get to know you is all. Here, I'll show you. 
Do you trust me? Rose. <sighs> okay, I guess. Get down at her level. Better get your scent. It's okay. She's not gonna hurt you. There you go. Now whistle and tell her to lie down. Lie down, Rosie. So cool. See? Not so hard. Yeah, that was pretty cool. And now Rosie will recognize you. She's really well trained. She was the headmaster's dog, back when this place was still functional. But when the world went to shit, he bailed. All the other adults did. Left us behind to fend for ourselves. Wow, well, what a dick. Understatement of the century. Now it's just us kids left. And I'd like it if you and AJ were a part of that. Both of you are plenty capable, and we need that. Here. This is the current state of our plan for gathering food. We are starting to run short. It's getting harder and harder to feed everyone in this school. What's the trap area? A hunting grounds, more or less. Lewis built some traps out there to catch game. He and a Sam are set to go check them today. The greenhouse? Oh, yeah. Well, don't get too excited about that one. We used to maintain it real well. Had plenty of vegetables growing. But it became overgrown. Upkeep was impossible. Yeah, we, uh, we keep away from that now. I didn't realize how much forest surrounds this place. It's how we've kept ourselves from unwanted attention for so long. Well, for the most part, anyway. That's the only road that leads in and out of Erickson. If you go off it, you'll eventually end up in the valley. We used to have signs that led people to the school, but I took them down. I wanted this place to be hard to find. That's the train station. There was a whole stash of food under the floorboards. Oh, where you crashed your car? Pretty sure that place a lost cause. There's a hell of a lot of smoke coming from it when we found you two. Walkers flooded in there after all the noise you made. What's out here? Oh, that's where we fish. Uh, I got a shack for storage right here. Right along the river. It's secure, mostly. Get the occasional walker or two come by. Vine Brody should be heading out there in a bit. One more thing. See these red lines? Yeah. So everything inside is the safe zone. It's been getting smaller over the years, and the food's become more scarce. So why not go outside it? <laughs> I can't. Whenever someone goes outside the safe zone, bad shit happens. People die or disappear. I just... <clears throat> I could really use the help, Clement. Taking care of these kids, it's not easy. I'm worried that if I don't figure something out, if, if I don't fix our food situation, I can't lose anyone else. We've already lost so much. Friends, siblings, I, I can't let another kid die. We're not gonna let that happen. I promise. <sighs> Thanks, Clementine. I appreciate that. I really do. Everyone's counting on me to step up. Be the leader they need me to be. I really want to be that for them. You and AJ are two more mouths to feed. But maybe you can help me feed the rest. So what do you need from us? Lewis and Asim are heading to the hunting grounds, looking for rabbits. Well, Asim will, anyway. Lewis, I uh, just hope he shows up, if I'm really being honest. Violet and Brody are going up river to do some spear fishing. And hopefully, those two get along long enough to get some work done. Both teams could use some extra hands. We're gonna go fishing. Okay. 
Take this. I don't want you getting lost. Thanks. We need all hands on deck if we're gonna find any more food. Just remember to stay in the safe zone. We need you to come back home in one piece. So that means we can stay? What? Do you think I was gonna throw you out? Maybe. Well, as long as we got enough to eat, you're both welcome here. Go get him, AJ. All right, let's get going. See you around. You know, I've been thinking. I wish we could all go on a road trip together. Road trip? Why bother? It's not like there's anything worth seeing anymore. Oh, come on. I'm sure there's plenty of stuff to see. Maybe Clem could show us around. You're able to get a car working, and you know how to drive? Barely. Come on, bye. I've never driven in my life, but I'd love to learn. That sounds kind of nice. I love the open road. I wouldn't mind showing you around. Just as long as you're not the one driving. Are we going to the car? No, bud. It's broken. Good. I'm sick of the car. I wish this old rust bucket was still working. We could just jump in and start driving. We could take turns sitting in the back. It'd be like driving one of those cars with the top that goes down. We'd run out of gas eventually. But still, it's fun to imagine, isn't it? <laughs> Where would you go, Clem? If you could drive anywhere you wanted. If gas wasn't an issue. Or a busted carburetor, or flat tires, or the transmission. Buzzkill. I'd drive up one of those long roads that wind around the mountains. Follow it all the way to the top. You could see over the whole world up there, I bet. Yeah. Get a nice view of the world while you die of frostbite. Sounds like the dream. Come on, Vi. Would it kill you to live a little? I've lived here my entire life. Heck, I'd say I know every inch of these woods. I'd kind of like to unknow it. No use dreaming of what could be. We've got shit to do. Yeah, I guess we should get to work on those fish. We got spears inside the shack. Come on. You go ahead. I'll stay out here. Where are those spears? Hey, about Bai. I'm sorry she's being a little mean. It's my fault. What do you mean? I was there when those walkers killed Sophie and Minnie. They were really close with Bai, and I think she blames me for what happened to them. I mean, how do you even apologize for something that fucked up? I don't know. Maybe I deserve it. You should talk to her about it. I'm sure she'll listen. <laughs> yeah, right. I tried. I have. It just never seems like the right time. We all used to be friends. <sighs> Guess I just kind of miss that. But when you showed up, I, I don't know. I just haven't seen her warm up to someone in a long time. Hmm. Do you... I mean, I hate to ask this of you, but do you think you could talk to her? See how she feels? About me? It's just been eating me up inside. Sure thing, Brody. I can talk to her. Really? That's great. Thanks, Clementine. I'm gonna go check our fish traps downstream. See? I'll take this to Vi. There should be some extras lying around.
Cool. Ready to get some fish? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Can I join you? Sure. Hey, check out these guys over here. They're swimming against the current. Guess I don't realize it makes them easier targets. I wanna try. Take a spear. Go nuts. Go ahead and try. They're not running. Any luck? I got something. Good enough for me. Hey, I'm sorry if I was weird last night about the whole room thing. Seeing someone else in there, uh, it was harder than I expected. You'd think I'd be less sentimental by now. <laughs> uh, Don't sweat it. I'm glad we got to know each other. <laughs> yeah, I guess I am too. Okay. God. Sometimes she just gets on my last nerve. You know? Yeah, I can tell. I mean, it's it's not like I hate her. I just... I wish we could all go on a road trip together. God, she's so... Oh. She definitely thinks you hate her. Looks like they wisened up. Maybe Brody had better luck with the traps. I got one! Clem, I got one! <laughs> Good job. <laughs> I don't know what the problem is between us. With Brody. I don't know why it's like this. Why is it so weird? I can never relax around her. It just keeps getting worse. Because... You blame her for what happened with the twins. Well, that's what I used to think. I just keep thinking that things might have ended differently if I was there. Maybe I could have protected Soph. And Minnie. She wants to talk about it, you know. I just... I feel guilty about the whole thing. Why? I was supposed to be out with the twins that day. I wanted to work in the greenhouse, so I asked Brody to cover for me. But then, I didn't even get to say goodbye. I, I wanted to talk to Brody, to tell her I didn't blame her for what happened, but every time I tried, I was reminded of who we lost. It was easier to just not talk about it. We should get going. You guys catch any fish? We caught some, but not a lot. I didn't get anything. We should catch up with Lewis and Asim, see if they had any better luck. The Grand Canyon. What? That's where I'd go. If we took a road trip, start driving until we hit the Grand Canyon. Yeah, that would be cool. Thanks. Hey, you slow folks coming? Yeah, we're right behind you. Where are those guys? Practicing making out with a toothless walker. Gross. I know. Poor walker. <laughs> <laughs> what 
the hell? What? This isn't normal? Someone sabotaged this. This isn't good. A Sam? Lewis! Spread out. See if we can find them. Watch out for monsters. Hmm. Empty. Huh. Is this a Bible page? Clem, found something. Monster. Guys, over here! Well, we didn't kill this one. You wouldn't have left it hanging in our trap. What the hell? Found this too. Do any of the kids smoke? Nope. Nothing to smoke. Who is this unlucky fella? Where have you been? Checking nearby traps. The ones that were sprung were all empty. All the rest are broken. Someone robbed us? Oh, great. And now we're gonna starve. <sighs> Fuck. That's... Fuck. Fuck. It's just... Fuck. It's okay. It's... Breathe, Brody. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. You're gonna be fine. It's just a panic attack. Hey, easy. We'll still find enough food to get us through the... That's not what I'm worried about. Brody, just chill. <sighs> I, I have to tell Marlon about this. Um, we still need food. You know, to live. We definitely don't have enough here. You guys figure it out. I'll take this hall back to school. Maybe we can ration out something. So what do we do? Eat rocks? We can't eat rocks. I'm aware. Will Marlin kick us out if we don't find food? Well, let's not find out. Where else could we look? <sighs> Let me think. The train station. It's not too far from here. Maybe, but it's outside the safe zone. There was food in there when AJ and I passed through. It's worth a look. You sure there was food? Positive. Yeah, some of it was destroyed in the explosion, but there has to be something left. There was so much there. Or we could starve. Fine. Let's go. There. That's where the food is. A lot more walkers than last time, though. We're gonna die. It's either die here or die from hunger. Take your pick. Clem, maybe you should scope things out. You know the place better. Let me get a closer look. Can't be too careful. I used that bell to attract a walker before. I'll try it again. They do like to follow sound. I could climb up there, but I don't know how that would get us inside. You look like you've got an idea. The noise from that bell could draw a lot of walkers. If one of us climbs up there and starts ringing it... Lewis, I vote Lewis. Uh, hold on. I'd like to make an alternate suggestion. Come on, Lou. You're loud, dramatic, a little annoying. You're basically a walking distraction. I think she pretty much sums it up. Ouch. All right. I see how it is. I'll go with you. Give you some cover. Fine. I'll do it. But if I die, I'm making sure Walker Lewis eats both of you first. I'll distract them until I see you guys reach safe cover. Then... I'll try to redirect the smelly patrol to give you guys a chance to sprint inside the building. When we get into position, I'll signal you. Then you can do your thing. Good luck! Hey, ugly! No, not you! Not you either! Him! 
Fine, make it confusing. <laughs> See if it works. Gonna need your help on this one, kiddo. You still got your gun? Just in case. Just in case. Job, AJ. Is there more? Keep it coming. Stand. Slowly. Don't yell. Don't try anything. I won't hurt you. If I don't have to. Who are you? The name's Abel. And I'm hungry as hell. You and your friends made a lot of noise out there. It wasn't hard to follow. You live close by? You knew about this place already, and organized some effort to get inside. Just passing through, we decided to see what we could scavenge. Uh-huh. And you just got extra lucky. Outside, I'm thinking maybe more. You got a camp in these here woods? Tell me about your group first. <laughs> uh, I miss the days when we were all so goddamn cagey. It's just me and my ugly face out here. Lonely, ugly, and hungry. Now, I'm gonna fill this pack real slow. We worked hard to get this stuff. 
<clears throat> well, hey there, Squirt. Playing hide and seek, are we? Now that's impolite. Don't steal from us. I'm not stealing. This isn't yours. I can kill you, you know. Come on, kid. I'm faster than you. Listen up, Squirt. You're gonna quit pointing that gun at me and let me go my merry. You understand? AJ, get down! <laughs> <laughs> to me, Marlon, listen to me. I am telling you, the place was ransacked. It's fine. We'll deal with it. Took y'all a while. How poor are they that have not patience? A Sim! Mitch! Check it out! Food! That's like a lot of food. Observant as ever, Mitch. I can't believe this. Look at it. You're our savior, Clem. Like, seriously, it's a lot. Lewis and Violet helped too. Neither of them ever brought back this much before. Neither have you. Where did you find all this? The old train station. Clem knew where it was. Train station? That's outside the safe zone. We'd have even more. But we ran into the creep that fucked up our rabbit traps. Creep? What creep? Clem saw him smoking those nasty-ass Bible cigarettes. He had weird, different colored eyes. Did he follow you? Nope. I shoved him into a pack of walkers. They took a chunk out of him. It was awesome! Look, I don't know if he got out of there, but if he did, he won't make it for long. You attacked him? What the fuck? If he survived, you know he's coming back for revenge. What the hell were you thinking? This is fucked. How could you be so stupid? If I hadn't done what I did, he would have shot us. I made the right call. Bullshit! What if there are others? You don't know what people are capable of out there. Think again. I, I just can't. I won't. Just... not again. Fuck! What the hell's going on here? She took them outside the safe zone. They saw someone. You know what that means! Enough! Just means there's a hungry guy out there looking for food. It's happened before. You are overreacting. You can't be serious! Come on, let's go somewhere and talk about this. If anything happens, I'm holding you responsible! Clem. I know I asked you for help. You did. You did. But... Shit. God. Nothing's easy. Sorry I went outside the safe zone. I didn't see any other option. Yeah, I know. It's just hard keeping this together. <laughs> well, at least we're eating tonight. 
in the next few, I'd wager. Um, I'll go talk to Brody. Thanks for the haul, Clem. You guys should go enjoy it. You've earned it. Don't sweat it, Clem. Ever since we lost Sophie and Minnie, Brody's been freaked out by anything that happens past the safe zone. She'll be all right eventually. Still, we should make sure this is a one-time thing. We can take Rosie out in the morning, see if she catches a scent. You know, just in case. I'm gonna go clean up. I think I'll go too. See you later. Don't worry about them. They're just sad. Sad? Why? My sisters died around this time last year. I think it's starting to get to people. Doesn't it get to you? Not really. Dying's not scary. I mean, it's sad, but not scary. Are you kidding me? Dying is the scariest thing there is. When you die, you turn into a monster. Maybe. All I know is that if Minnie were here, she'd tell them to quit the theatrics. I try not to focus on them being gone. I like picturing where they'd be now, instead. Sophie was awesome at making stuff. She'd build a place big enough for all of us to live. And paint it too. And Minnie'd be playing whatever new song she wrote. I guess that doesn't scare me because I know I have something waiting on the other side. Someplace safe and happy. Looks like a nice place to wind up. Yeah, I think so too. A lot better than some smelly old school. Who are those guys? The walkers who killed them. You want them there too? They weren't always walkers. Wherever this place is, everyone gets to be a person again. Sometimes I draw the walkers the way they probably looked. Sometimes I draw Minnie and Sophie the way they probably left them. But sometimes I draw this too. Can... can I be there? Sure. You want to be there too? I promise I'll draw you well. You just gotta hold still. Sure, why not? Oh, I almost forgot. Here you go. It's yours. It's ours. It's getting late. Yeah, you guys should get some sleep. Aren't you coming? Not yet. I want to finish this first. Good night. See you tomorrow. Time for bed, little guy. Can I stay up? Nope. Two more minutes. Tell you what, you lay down, and then we'll see. You full from dinner? Yeah, it was good. Yeah, it was. I like it here. I got to kill fish. Violet looked like she was having a good time. It's nice, not driving everywhere or running away. But the ranch was nice too, before the blood. This isn't the ranch. Do you like it? I like it, now that I'm used to it. It's good, for now, but places change, so do people. 
it might not stay good. Don't worry, we're not leaving. There, you gotta stay up two minutes more. Time for sleep. I'll lay down when you blow out the light. All right, give me a minute. There, that's a good drawing. He's a good artist. Your picture is good too. Oh, I know. <sighs> so cute. So used to lugging this everywhere. Never knowing when we'd find any supplies. I feel a lot lighter. Good night, sleep tight, don't let a walker bite. And if they try, I never let them bite. Come on, play it right. One time, bang. <laughs> Good work, and thanks. There's voices in the pipes. I think someone's in trouble. Is it us? No, no, no. Not right now. But we should help them. If it's a monster, we should kill it. I don't think it is. You got your gun. Uh-huh. I'll be right back. Stay safe. You okay? They sound mad. Don't worry. I'll find out what's going on. I know. Sides. Can't pick it. I have to find another way to the basement. A cellar door out in the yard. be another entrance to the basement around here. Oh, 
wrong way. down here, in the dark. Brody and I were just talking. Go get some sleep. You deserve some shut-eye. You had a busy day. Didn't exactly sound like a polite conversation. What are you fighting about? It's really none of your business. Go back to the dorm. Uh... The man you met at the station! We got history. Brody! Don't listen to her, Clem. She's acting crazy. She gets this way sometimes. She's just got to tune it out. Don't be afraid, Brody. Say what you have to say. What history? Marlin let him take the twins. Him and his people. Brody! Ten sisters. I thought they were killed by walkers. That's the story we told everyone. Shut up! Because Marlin was so ashamed Shit. of what- Shut up! Ah! What'd you say? She... I'm sorry. Shit! What have you done? I'm so sorry. So, so... You're gonna be okay. I, pr I promise. God damn it! Hell! What did you say to I told you not to say it! Please be okay. Get away from her. Come on, Brody. Come on. I mean it, Marlin. Step back! Okay. Okay. Just, just stay with her. There's a first aid kit down here somewhere, right? First aid kit? Brody, it's me, Clem. Just, just stay still. Uh, who? Uh, I, I, I can't see. Clementine, remember? We talked about driving up into the mountains, where you could see everything. What danger? Marlon will kill me if I tell. He's scared. And when he's scared, he gets angry. Brody, if there's a threat to AJ, you have to tell me. Everything is so faint. I can't feel my legs. Please, try and focus. If those raiders come back, Marlon said he'd let them take you. Take us? To make him go away. Like he did. Like he did with ten sisters. Brody. Oh, fuck. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. What the hell am I gonna do? Oh, 
sorry. I can't let you talk to the others. Damn it! Marlin! Anyone! AJ! <sighs> There's a gap. If I could find something really thin, I could force it in there and lift up the latch. This will work. Her head split open! That's a lie! I saw you kill her! What the hell is going on? Look at her hands! She's covered in Brody's blood! Jesus Christ, Clap, did you do? Murder! Well, fuck them! 
talking about? You won't do it, because he needs us alive. Shut up! Cody told me Marlin was gonna give me and AJ up to Raiders in exchange for safety. The same way he gave up Sophie and Minnie. Raiders? Oh my god. Shut the fuck up, Clementine! Let her talk! Cody told me the truth, and that's when Marlin killed her! Oh, come the fuck on! They only met up with these Raiders. Because Clem insisted they go out there! Quite the coincidence, isn't it? Shame, I don't believe in those. The first thing she did was attack you, Ten. Think about how scared we all were when the adults left. I pulled us out of that fear. I gave us all courage again. Who are you all gonna believe, huh? Johnny come lately and her little fucking lunatic? Or me, your friend? did help us get food. What good is food if a group of outsiders is just gonna come along and take it? I'm just saying. Lewis, don't let him do this! Oh no, I am not involved. What? I like you, Clem, but I... Not me. I'm sorry. You're, uh... on your own. I'm sorry. And you better bury me deep. Because if I come back, I'll come for you first! Shit. Marlin, come on, man. Drop the gun. Lewis! She killed Brody! We can't let her walk away. Clem, I... I, I gotta trust Marlin. I just... I gotta. I always have. He didn't trust you with the truth. He lied to you about the twins. He doesn't deserve your trust. Shut the fuck up! Doing, man. Come on, dude, just drop the gun. This is how adults do things, not us. Stand down, Marlon. Be reasonable. You don't get it. You, you don't understand at all, do you? I'm trying to protect you! <laughs> to save the rest of you, okay? You gave my sisters away. <laughs> Why would you do something like that? I trusted you, Marlin. They trusted you. A real leader would have sacrificed himself. I wanted to get them stakes, some kind of rescue. Honest, Ted, I just couldn't. I was, I was too afraid. You killed Brody because she knew. <laughs> I didn't mean to. I didn't want this. I wanted to save all of you. Sophie. Minerva. We can still fix this, Marlin. It's going to be okay. We can make this right. We'll help you. We're all family here. The only one any of us has left. I know I betrayed you. All of you. Just let me leave. Never have to see me again. 
Just let me become a bad memory. Just give me that. Please. Fine. Head. 